Hey, Cryptosans. Tonight's show, Yuga Labs versus Ryder Rips, the fight over NFT IP. It's 10 p.m. Pacific, and the date is June 26th, 2022. Welcome back to the Crypto Overnighter. My name is Nicodemus, and I'll be your host. The cover model, mascot, and co-host for this podcast is Tex. And together we take a nightly look at the crypto, NFT, and metaverse space and the industry that surrounds it. So go ahead, subscribe to the podcast now. Because we're here at 10 p.m. every night so that when you leave in the morning, you're taking with you the crypto news analysis that you need to start your day. And keep in mind, nothing in this show should ever be considered financial advice. Demented Troll That's how Bored Ape Yacht Club founder Gordon Goner referred to Ryder Rips. So what's going on here? Well, let's start with the immediate events happening in this little saga, because it's juicy. It's got people getting sued, the alleged threat of intellectual property theft, and good old accusations of some racism, just to keep things interesting. So on Friday, Yuga Labs filed suit. They filed a 43-page lawsuit in the Central District Court of California. And this suit was filed against Ryder Rips and Jeremy Can, which explains why the case will be heard in California. According to court documents, Rips lives in Acton, and Jeremy lives in Santa Monica, and they want a jury trial. They call it, quote, complaint for false designation of origin, false advertising, cyber squatting, trademark infringement, unfair competition, unjust enrichment, conversion, and tortuous interference. They use the word scam a lot in their complaint, and they call Writers Enterprise, quote, deliberate effort to harm Yuga Labs at the expense of consumers. Now, the first part of this suit talks about Rips. They say he has been trolling Yuga Labs and counting consumers into purchasing his NFTs by misusing Yuga Labs' trademarks. And they accuse him of trying to devalue Bored Apes by issuing his own version, which dilutes the market. Now, right now, they've got a DMCA notification at the foundation where the apes had been. While that notification is in effect, you cannot see the collection at that exchange. Now, OpenSea, they too kicked the Rips apes off their exchange. And they also talked about claims that this is satire. Quote, Rips claims his actions are satire, yet he conveniently rakes in millions in ill-gotten profit from sales of the RR Bored Ape NFTs using Yuga Labs marks to make those sales. Copying is not satire. It is theft. And lying to consumers is not conceptual art, it's deception. Now, for his part, Rips does claim to be a conceptual artist. He put forth the RR slash BAYC. It's an NFT profile pick collection. This collection consists entirely of Board Ape Yacht Club pictures he did not create or purchase. He calls it a recontextualized version. Okay, let's take a quick look at the numbers. At the time of writing, the global crypto market cap is $942 billion. That's down 2.3% in 24. The top five cryptos by market cap are Bitcoin down 1.82%, Ethereum down 3%, Tether, USDC, and Binance Coin down 1.85%. Rip's actions, his quote, recontextualized offering, of course, kind of runs against Yuga Labs' best interests. So, when Rips started minting his version of the NFTs on May 13th, Yuga Labs sent them a DMCA takedown claim. Now, he disputed it, and Yuga rescinded it. And at the time, Rips took it as a victory, as a sign that Yuga didn't think they had a strong case. And why not? He was clearly feeling very emboldened, even though OpenSea kicked him off due to a, quote, claim of intellectual property infringement. Even still, that wasn't until after $3.5 million of these Rider apes had been traded, and he's selling t-shirts. These t-shirts were of board apes that he doesn't own. Again, no issue. So you know where this is going. He said, quote, the craziest thing to me is that this company has made billions of dollars and has sold people on a complete lie, which is that they own commercial rights to these drawings. What they really mean is that just don't care who uses them and won't sue anybody. Listening to his words, he's at least putting forth the idea that people shouldn't be making money off of NFTs. He doesn't want 
certain types of people owning NFTs. Those darn speculators. He's against investments in the NFT space made by speculators. He said, quote, I think NFTs have a real place in the world. It's unfortunate that the crowd has gravitated to it, is not interested in digital art, and has treated it like a casino. And keep in mind, this all comes after six months of accusations of racism. Yep, flat out racism. Yeah, since late last year, Rips has been waging a campaign against Yuga Labs. He's been combining what he believes is neo-Nazi and racist references in the Board Ape Yacht Club. He has put up an archive of those claims at gordongonner.com. Now He claims that the artwork, which he's selling copies of, by the way, contain racist characters of black and Asian people. He said that their logo and their branding is rife with Nazi symbology and language. Yuga didn't take that lying down, of course. Co-CEO Nicole Muniz said that the idea was the exact opposite of the type of community Yuga Labs was trying to foster. She characterized his Twitter attacks as, quote, deeply painful and disturbing. Now, if Rips, who grew up in a Jewish household, was looking for help from the Anti-Defamation League, he's going to have to look elsewhere because they're not buying it. The global NFT market cap is up over $12.24 billion. Sales volume is down 2.5% in 24 hours. According to CoinMarketCap, the top five NFT collections by sales volume are CryptoPunks, followed by Bored Apes, Other Deed, Moonrunners, and Mutant Apes. Now, keep in mind, some of these collections have very volatile prices. So do your own research. Here's what I mean when I say they're not buying it. That bored ape symbol with the ape skull. Rips claims that there are connections between that and the Totenkopf, which was a symbol used by the Nazis. He points to the fact that they have the same number of teeth as proof. Now, Mike Pitkovich is a senior research fellow at the Anti-Defamation League's Center on Extremism. He's been called into court as an expert about his knowledge on this very subject. And he's not seeing it. He said, quote, the Nazi Totenkopf is one of very specific graphic design of a skull and crossbones, and the monkey skull resembles it in no way except insofar as all skulls resemble each other to a certain degree. And it's really not a Nazi symbol. It's actually older than all that. The version used by the Waffen-SS predates the Nazi party. According to Pitkovich, this goes back to the Prussian military way before Hitler was born. Now, another example is the helmet, the Pickelhaube. Rips says that this is proof that of Nazi sympathizers. And the reason is that the helmet comes from Imperial Germany. That's two whole governments before the Nazi party took over. Now, on Friday, Gordon Goner and Yuga Labs put up a blog post to address the issue. Goner said it's time to clear the air over this theory. They've started to get concerned because one of their favorite podcasters was talking about it. Clearly, that wasn't me. Anyway, he said, quote, We've not responded in further detail to these allegations because, frankly, they are insanely far-fetched. Now, he continued, saying, That said, we woke up this morning to a podcaster we respect talking about this conspiracy theory, and that was pretty unreal. Made us feel like it was time to come out and put an end to all this. On Medium, Ghana wrote, quote, We've become the target of a crazy disinformation campaign accusing us, a group of Jewish, Turkish, Pakistani, and Cuban friends, of being super-secret Nazis. He said the accusations insanely far-reached and said it was time to put an end to all this. His words. And the post goes on to point out that the origins of the Bored Apes logo, as well as the name Yuga Labs and other things. Even the name Yuga Labs is a controversy. Rips insists that there's a connection between Yuga Labs and Kali Yuga. He called Kali Yuga, quote, a popular element of alt-right traditionalist ideology. Well, calling it popular is apparently something of a stretch, at least according to Pitkovich. He said, quote, when I first read his blog post, I had to actually look that up. And I've been studying white supremacy for 27 years. Keep in mind, The man does work at the ADL Center on Extremism. Well, Goner's post didn't please everyone. 
some folks that felt that there were major points that went unaddressed. Later on, they tweeted, quote, The outpouring of support from our community today has been overwhelming. We will continue to be transparent with our community as we fight these slanderous claims. In addition, to put a stop to the continuous infringement and other illegal attempts to bring harm to us and the Board Ape Yacht Club community, we have filed a lawsuit against the responsible parties. We will continue exploring and pursuing all legal options at our disposal. Now, where this goes, it's hard to guess. Clearly, though, the question over NFT IP is an important one, and it's one that probably won't be settled soon. There is a lot of money in the NFT market. I anticipate that is just going to continue to accelerate. Want some proof? Here's an example. Noah Davis. He used to work for Christie's Auction House as a part of their NFT team. Well, he left that position to work for, you guessed it, Yuga Labs. He's going to be their brand lead, and not for the whole company's IP. This guy's going to be devoted to just CryptoPunks. Because remember, Yuga Labs owns CryptoPunks and MeBits, and they all get the same benefit as Bored Apes, in that you own your commercial rights and the intellectual property to your CryptoPunk. Or do you? Maybe this lawsuit will shed some light on what NFT ownership really means. And that's going to do it for us tonight. I want to thank you, my listeners, because when you stop listening, I'll stop talking. You stay safe out there. Watch out for yourselves, but watch out for each other too. We'll see you tomorrow night.